While the caravans of immigrants coming from Central America have dissipated since reaching Mexico City. Still, there are those who vow to defy President Trump by promising to cross the border. Supporters say they will not turn their backs on those fleeing violence. Here's ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez. The pilgrimage through Mexico was meant to draw attention to the gang violence in places like El Salvador and Honduras, forcing people there to leave their country. A mí me han matado mi hermana, mi tío. This woman from Honduras says they killed her sister and her uncle. She was afraid she would be next. President Trump's anti-immigration tweets infuriated many. This one sent just two days ago. We are sealing up our southern border. The people of our great country want safety and security. The Dems have been a disaster on this very important issue. Si él quiere poner tropas en la frontera, perfecto, que las ponga. This man seemed defiant, saying if President Trump wants to put troops on the border, let him do it. He vowed to attempt to cross over from Mexico to the United States. So did this grandmother, who told a CNN reporter she was taking the children to be with their mother already living in San Francisco. So they know that they're going to meet their mother in San Francisco. Adrian Pond of the Office of Civic Engagement and Immigrant Affairs says San Francisco will not turn its back on them. That's really why we need to have compassion and understanding and whatever it takes for us to support people who are in need is what the city needs to do. But that's not always the general consensus. There are millions of people in other parts of the world as well who are displaced from war-torn and at some point the United States can't take everyone in. Most will ask for asylum in Mexico, and if that country rejects them, they will either give up or make the long trek to the United States. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.